So when was the last time you actually got to study your cows? You know, I understand life is really busy. Uh, excuse that fan, that's the fan noise. Um, and we rarely have time to do the things we need. And one of the things we need to do is know our cows. So um, to save you a lot of work, what I've decided to do is come to the little cow museum and uh, let you have a peek at the cow. Whoops, sorry, <laughs> that's the glass there. Let you have a peek at the kind of cows available. You know, on offer, you've got uh, flowery cows, you've got cows with plates on them, and they've got a Buddha cow, a super cow, uh, a kind of Robin Hood or Robinette. Uh, queen cow, you've got all kinds of cows and you know of course cows don't officially come in these colors that you see here but I think these colors do represent the various characters cows can have and why I mean it's not as if I'm a cowologist by nature but I have in uh, my life been able to sit in a hammock and spend hours and hours looking at cows and the more I looked at them, the more I realized each one had their own personality. And some of these cows had um, little groups that they hung out in. And some of them would never mix with others. I, I'm serious. I, you know, I thought it was... A, I sort of noticed these little patterns in their movements whenever they were let into the field next to where we were staying. And so I realized that there's more to a cow than moo. So having said that, I'm just going to let you have one last. Uh, peek at the various cows on offer. I think I've said that before, but it doesn't matter. There you are.